Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Raluca. I usually do makeup content but in today's video we're going to talk about fragrances. It's another subject that I really love and I'm really interested in. I haven't shared anything about it on my YouTube channel since two years ago when I started my job at Sephora I became very passionate about fragrances. So today we're going to talk about my top 10 favorite fragrances and almost all of them are fall winter fragrances so yay! <laughs> Before we get started, I want to disclaim the fact that I mean, you probably know that fragrance is something very subjective. If I like a fragrance, does not mean that you will like that particular fragrance. So don't blind buy anything I'm recommending. You might not like it, so make sure to test out the fragrance before buying it. Thank you. <laughs> That's everything. Let's get started. I'm going to start from the 10th place. And there on the 10th place we have Good Girl. <laughs> by Carolina Herrera. This is a pretty common fragrance, like everyone knows it by now, it's sweet, it's sexy. My boyfriend loves it, which is uh, doesn't happen very often, he's very picky about fragrances. Let's um, look a little bit at the notes, because I have no idea what they are. This is listed as an amber floral fragrance. I've had this for a pretty long time. My mother got it for me when I was in college. I have two versions of it. Uh, this is the classical version, this is again the classical version, but it's a uh, limited edition packaging. So the notes are almond, coffee, uh, lemon, bergamot, tuberose, jasmine, like some flowery stuff, but yeah. I didn't know it has coffee, but I can tell. It's very hidden, like in the, all the sweetness, and also vanilla, which is definitely there, you can smell it. It's a crowd pleaser, it's sweet, it's sexy. On the ninth place, I don't have it here, but it's about Yves Saint Laurent Libre. I have a memory with Libre when I first started my job at Sephora. That's uh, the month when Libre was launched, about September, October of 2019. And that's when I started working at Sephora. And when I first smelled Libre, I was like, this is the best smelling fragrance that I've ever tried. I wasn't very really experienced back then, like I didn't smell a lot of fragrances but I don't know, it's just I just fell in love with how special it felt I uh, like the classical version, like the Eau de Parfum and I also like the intense version, the Eau de Parfum Intense uh, that's really nice as well, it's a little bit stronger Maybe it has a lot of lavender in it, that's why it's so special because lavender is usually a male fragrance ingredient Libre usually makes me feel like strong, independent, you know, when, when I was doing like a black smoke yeah, that's when I would wear Libre. It's really special. And it also smells very sophisticated in some way. Yeah, so it has lavender, vanilla, orange blossom, a lot of things. I'm not going to read like all the notes. But the reason that it's only on the ninth place is because I don't really like how it smells on my skin. <laughs> kind of turns weird and almost bitter smelling somehow. It's such a shame because on the paper it smells fantastic. On the 8th, it is the 8th, yeah, the 8th place, we have another crowd pleaser, <laughs> but I really love it. It's a Olympia, it's, this is the intense version, I pretty much prefer the intense version over the classical Olympia, even though the classical Olympia is also gorgeous, but I do prefer this because it's a little bit sweeter, you can really feel that vanilla in it, and uh, has a little bit more depth in my opinion. Why I like Olympia, the Olympia range in general, it's because of the salt ingredient in it. It's, it really smells a little bit salty. Kind of like waves, kind of like the ocean. Yeah, I can really smell something special in it. And the Olympia Intense smells like... Uh, imagine that you're on the beach at summer wearing like a very sweet body lotion, let's say, and you've just been in the sea and when you go out and lay in the sun, that's how you would smell like. So it's something vanilla sweet mixed with the saltiness of the original Olympia. Gorgeous. I, I, I just really love it. On the seventh place we have something that I think is the sweetest fragrance of this whole top 10. It's Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. And I'm talking about the Le Parfum version. Again, I prefer that over the original La Belle. But this is basically the intense version with the classical label. This smells fruity and kind of like cinnamon. It's very suitable for fall or winter. So it has pear in it, which gives that fruitiness and also the sweetness because it's a sweet fruit. 
It also has stone cabin, jasmine and vanilla and you can definitely smell the vanilla in it. It's very sweet, very strong, very long lasting as well. It's just a sweet sexy fragrance for fall. Also I feel like it's very young smelling, kind of like 25 or under. <laughs> Even though I'm over 25 but I just don't want to admit that yet. <laughs> Next on the 6th, 6th, 6th place we have uh, a more unusual one. I'm talking about the Tom Ford Metallic. Metallic? Metallic? however you want to call it. When I first smelled it, I absolutely hated it. I just felt like it smelled like uh, like rust. And it kind of does, because that's why it's called metallic. It kind of smells like metal. To me, it kind of smells like money. Like, like really like coins, like money. <laughs> it just smells expensive. Very like high class, sophisticated, yeah. It's also a little bit more special, that's why I like it. I've heard a lot of opinions on this. Uh, some people say it smells like blood. Uh, kind of like the irony smell of the blood. Uh, and also I've read a review that someone says it smells like chicken liver. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bit more unusual. On the notes we have all the hides. I still can't figure out what those are. They just describe it as a fresh or soapy smell. Somehow it kind of resembles that. It also has pink pepper and on the base it has vanilla and sandalwood and uh, some other things. <laughs> you can find the notes online. I just use Fragrantica. I just love that website so much. Basically for just reading re reviews and notes and stuff. I, it's just so useful. On the fifth place we have another fragrance that I do not own and I'm talking about... this is... Uh, I recently fell in love with this. I just didn't notice it before somehow. And I'm talking about Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. I fell in love with this like, like a month or two before leaving Sephora. Again, it's that girly, like that sexy sweet fragrance, but I feel like that, like this one has a classiness in it. Even though this also smells very young, I feel like it smells like a, kind of like a classier, sexy young lady. I imagine um, a young girl in a black dress uh, in a tight black dress, so it's sexy at the same time, and wearing some red lipstick. That's the vibe that <laughs> this fragrance gives me. It's fruity and sweet, and let's see the notes. It's an amber floral fragrance. It has uh, mandarin and green apple. Interesting. It also has coconut and uh, vanilla and orange blossom. You know that this is not like... Um, different or special in any way, but I just love it so much. We're getting into those fragrances that I just truly, truly, truly love. I feel like the competition is very tight between these top four fragrances. I just love them all almost equally, but I had to make a top. And on the fourth place we have this one. This is the Zadig and Voltaire. This is her. And luckily this has the notes on it. It has jasmine, vanilla, chestnut and sandalwood. This, I'm wearing it right now. This is woody and you can really smell the vanilla in it. This is kind of strong and gentle at the same time. It's not loud in any way, but you can definitely feel it. I kind of identify with it the most out of uh, all those fragrances. I feel like fragrance is about emotion mostly. And this kind of smells like me. I don't know definitely grew on me when I first smelled it. I was like, kind of wasn't even able to smell it. I was like, this is too weak. And it didn't draw my attention at first. I had to apply it on my skin because on the skin it kind of becomes a little bit stronger. You can definitely feel it and it's very, very long lasting as well, which you wouldn't tell when you apply it on a paper. I just look for the notes and it also has pink pepper in it, which you can definitely feel. You can definitely feel the pepper. It's pretty peppery in the beginning. It's just so special and this to me, it's, this smells exactly like fall. Kind of like the leaves and the fog situation, you know, you can smell it in the air somehow. I just love it so much. On the third place we have something from my uh, favorite fragrance brand. It's not a fragrance brand, it's a designer brand. I'm talking about Hermes. And the fragrance is Mon Jardin sur la Lagoon. This is a unisex fragrance. I'm saving this one for summer because it's the only summer fragrance that I like. I mean, it's definitely an all-year fragrance. It's not that light blue kind of fresh. 
but it's definitely a little bit fresher than the other ones it also has that spicy that um, special thing to it i don't know what it is i think i know it's the it's the marine notes in it it again kind of smells like the sea somehow this is um amber floral fragrance for women and men okay it has sea notes magnolia woody notes lily and uh, yeah you can definitely feel the woodiness and the marine notes in it it's just so sophisticated and beautiful and i can also identify with it a little bit i mean it kind of smells a little bit like myself when i say it smells like myself i mean my personality <laughs> It's different, it's special. Again, you can definitely feel it like it's spicy, kind of strong, but not too in your face. It's pretty gentle at the same time. And I love Hermes in general. They do such special fragrances. They are definitely not for everyone. Um, most people, from my experience, because I was a beauty advisor in Sephora, I talked about fragrances with a lot of people. And most of them find Hermes to be a little bit more... Um, they say it smells like old lady somehow. I, I just love, I feel like they are special and classy. They definitely do not smell like old lady, at least not to me. <laughs> On the second place, we have something that I feel like it's not known enough, like, or hyped enough. This is the Elisab Le Parfum Royal. This is the Royal version. Also like the original Le Parfum, but this one, the smell that you can feel in this one is definitely rose. It definitely smells like roses. And it's so sweet and rosy and syrupy somehow. <sighs> this for some again will smell like old lady. It's definitely more mature, kind of classy. Like a classy rich woman in her 30s. That's how this smells like. It's sweet. Again, it's very sweet. Uh, suitable for winter. When I first wore this fragrance, so I, I tried it from a tester in Sephora and I was like, like after a few, like eight hours or something, when I was going home, I was like, I don't want to wear anything else in my life. Like this is my fragrance. <laughs> I just love it so, so much. I don't know what it is in it that just drives me crazy. Because most people I know, they don't really like it. <laughs> but the notes definitely rose, but let's see what else does it have. I also like the classic Le Parfum, uh, which to me kind of smells like uh, Chanel, Mademoiselle, somehow, but maybe a little bit stronger than that. Uh, let's see, the Le Parfum Royale has orange, mandarin orange, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, yeah, that definitely has a lot of rose in it. And patchouli, amber, vanilla and sandalwood. I usually wear this when I'm going to events, like classy events, when I'm wearing a dress or stuff, I just love wearing this one. Here we are on the first place. How do I give this justice talking about it? On the first place we have Burberry Her Intense. I don't have the words to describe this. When I first smelled it again, no, oh, it kind of looks like my sweater. I'm an aesthetic queen. When I first smelled it, I just couldn't stop smiling. I was like, because this to me smells like, like fun. It smells like good times, again, very young. Uh, it smells like high school and college memories of like fun, bad decisions and stuff like that. It describes the smell, it's fruity, it's sweet. Uh, some people say it smells like cough syrup. I don't see that. <laughs> oh, and also someone told me that it smells like her doctor's cabinet. I was like, girl, your doctor has good taste. That's what's it. To me it smells like whiskey and cream. As the notes, but it also stays on the packaging. Thank you. It has blackberry and cherry notes, so it's fruity. Oh, it has jasmine. It also has benzene and cedarwood. The benzene note, I, I just uh, read that it smells kind of like similar to vanilla, but not quite. Because I, I didn't know what that was and I wanted to find out. <laughs> this to me smells like happiness. It smells very young and bold and also I like the original, the original fur. The original fur is a little bit classier than this one which I feel like this one is more young and bold in your in your face and the original fur is a little bit classier. And that was my top 10 favorite fragrances. I uh, Let me know if you've tried any of those and whether or not you liked it and let me know your favorite fragrance down below. 
I would really love to know. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it and enjoyed watching it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know if you like like more non-makeup content. I really enjoyed making it. I really hope you're having an amazing day and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!